on here. Okay, yeah. Uh, yes, it's raining here too. Uh, That's great. Yes. Well, not so much, but I mean, no, it's raining, but not so much, right? But it's ah, good. not that. Yeah. Uh, okay. But it's good that, that it's that... because you know it's been well. Today it wasn't too hot, you know, like it was yeah. yesterday or yesterday was today, was today really hot. hot, and Monday Monday was really hot. And is is it proper to say is is rain is not raining too hard or too strong? No, hard, hard, better. Hard. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Good. Yeah, I, mean, I think it was it was uh, it was very hot, but now it's it's not cool. But you know, that, you know uh -huh. everything... today has been like normal, normal. right? Yeah, normal. Uh huh. Yes. Hey, Ricardo, how are you, Ricardo? Hi, hi. I am. It's it's raining uh, here. Great. <laughs> yes. <laughs> where, where, where are you, Ricardo? Where do you live? Is living in Ilopango, in front of the Air Force, ah, okay. de La Paz. Oh, okay. So then it's, it's a long way then from uh, from Ilopango probably to Lourdes. It's, it's raining, right? Yeah, because yes. right now here it's raining. Okay. Oh, you're you're in uh, Lourdes. Yes. Uh, yes. So it's raining all over the place, all over El Salvador. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? Where do you live? I'm located here at uh, Antiguo Cuscatlán. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. You see all thing on all this area is yeah at, at least you know in the in the central area I think it's raining. The central area is yeah, is so, rainy. Well, it is good if it rains also you know in, in the mm -hmm. east right you know to the San Miguel because yeah. of, because of the crops you know they are so because they, of the what the I'm corn, sorry the, the corn oh the corn uh -huh. the, all the yeah. plantations they have the plantation you're right okay all right. Okay, let's see. George is here. I take your two, Eduardo. Okay, so we can we can start. Okay, this is Hello everyone, before you watch the video, we want you to write on our discussion box expressions that you already know, which are used in the past, present, and future. Okay, we're going to repeat this video just while the others come and then to refresh some vocabulary and then we're going to go through the knowledge check. Time contrasts. Past. A few years ago, not many people lived here. Present. These days, the population is growing so fast. Future. Soon, there will be a lot of shopping malls. People used to shop at grocery stores. Today, people shop at supermarkets. In 20 years, people might buy groceries by computer. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. In the future, people are going to use cars even more. We noticed you wrote some time expressions related to past, present, and future. Well done. Now let's talk a bit about time contrast. This helps us to talk about perhaps a same situation that we have lived over the years and we want to make reference since it happened, taking it to our present and imagining it in a future. The trick here is for us to use the verbs properly in its right tense along with time expressions. Let's go over the chart. 
In the first column, we talk about past and we use time expressions like a few years ago, or people used to, or 50 years ago. And our verbs are in past. We used lived and walked. Let's move on to the present. And here we use these days, today, or nowadays. And of course, our verbs are is growing, shop, and drive, which are in the present. Last but not least, we have our future using expressions such as soon, in 20 years, in the future. Therefore, we use verbs in future, will be, might buy, are going to use. Time contrast is easy to use, just double check on your verbs. Think about it as one sentence per tense. We will now give you more time expressions that you may use with each tense. Past expressions at that time, in the past, then. Present expressions, currently, in the meantime, now. Future expressions, in the next couple of years, next, in the near future. Now we want you to write a short description about how has your life changed using the expressions below. Make sure you do it and present it to your teacher to make sure you did it right. Okay, so this was, you know, just to refresh the last thing we were doing yesterday. And now let's check. The notebook, right? So we have this one. Yes. Two, three, four, five, seven, eight. I have a problem with that. <laughs> it's a little bit confused. Okay, so we're going to see it. It's one for each. Okay. Then uh, let's see. Uh, let's start with uh, Eduardo Ponce. Would you please read the first one and tell us a possible answer before the automobile? Before the automobile. Let me see, people. People didn't travel as as much from city to city. Okay, here. Okay, let's see. Uh, Ricardo, how about the second? Okay. Before they were supermarkets, um, people used to shop at the small stores. People. Used to the first okay, the first. Small store. First. first. The right. first. Okay. Uh, Diego, number three. Right. About about five hundred years ago. Um. I think it is. Uh, people play the first game of goal. Nico, people. I'm not sure. People play the first game of golf. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Good. And Aide, number four. Okay. In most office today. Um, yeah. Um, People work more than 14 hours a week? People work more than 40 hours a week. Okay. Good. Jorge Luis Mendoza, George. Okay. Uh, five. In many cities nowadays, pollution is becoming a serious problem. Pollution. Okay, now we have Okay, Gio, number six. So 
doctors might find a cure for the common cold. Okay. Uh, Kelvin. All right. The seven. Yep. Okay. In the next hundred years. Um. Oh, I think I got it. In the next hundred years, there will be no. There will probably be cities in space. Okay. Or, or could be the last one. I think doctors might find a cure for the common cold. Okay. All right. Which one do you prefer? Mm, I think the last one is is more probably is more, like this one? I don't. Oh. That is is your answer, anyways. Uh huh. Uh -huh. May I see the, the previous one? <laughs> the, the, the the other question soon. Because uh -huh. uh, the thing is, I don't I don't think that in the next hundred years we will be having cities in space. <laughs> it probably will take a I don't know more than one hundred years, but I think it's the last one. The last one. The last one. Okay. Yeah. All right. A uh, number eight, uh, let's see, let's see here. Wait, and it's okay, uh, they are mixed now. Uh, George Lemus. Okay, uh, sometime in the future, the real probably by seeing in space. Sometimes in the future? The real probably by city in the space. Okay, good. Now remember that this is the answer according to the person who has read, right? And then, uh, and we're doing the exercise here, you know, on site. So then, uh, if you have another option, uh, just keep it in your mind. For example, if you think that the before the automobile, there is another option. You just write your answer, the second, the first one. Teacher, what, what is the pronunciation? Uh, automobile or automobile? Automobile. Uh -huh. Automobile. Automobile. All right. Then we're going to have this one, and then which one is here? Three, four, six. Okay. There you go. Ready? Let's Ready see. like Freddy. Okay, good. No, no, no. Show answers? Yes. What? Well, the last one, that was George, right? Yeah. Okay, the first one, the last one is cor uh, correct. Correct. Okay, the number seven was? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was in the, in the correct one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, not, not, not quite sure, but. Not uh, quite not sure. sure but... I almost changed my mind, but okay. I got it, I got it. Uh, okay, then in this one, the uh, number six, Zoom, most people are going that is, to work at that's home. Actually, nowadays, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> you know, this, this exercise is a coincidence that there are uh -huh. some, uh, some phrases that are similar to the situation that uh -huh. we have in this moment, right? Uh huh, correct. Yes, but actually, how to say soon, okay? Soon, most people. Mm -hmm. Then we have the number five. Well, in many cities nowadays, pollution is becoming a serious problem, okay? And the other one we have is, in mm -hmm. most offices today, people work more than 40 hours a week. Technically. And yes. No, oh, yes, that's true. <laughs> well, uh -huh. the nowadays, no, because we usually work more than that. Yes, and now that you are home sometimes, you know, you also work uh, more because yeah. there, is no, there is no schedule, there is no difference. I know. Right? Okay, about 500 years ago, people played the first game of golf. Okay, this was idea, I guess, and this was uh, Diego, right? Yes, yes. Yes, that was and correct. And even before there was before there were supermarkets, people used to shop at a smaller stores. And then before the automobile, people didn't travel as much from city to city. Sure. 
okay, you're not that bad, guys. You know, it's just it's good sequence. Six. Yes. The answer what? the number six is different. Number? Number six is different. Uh huh. Yes, it was most people. Uh huh. The yeah. correct one, no, uh, this one, not this one. Yes. The, somebody read this one, but the correct is here. Uh -huh. Most people are going to work at home. Yeah. This is the correct one. And <laughs> this is the one that Kelvin was. These are the two uh, I was, questions I was that Kelvin like was guessing. comparing. I uh, comparing. Uh huh. Right? And then uh, he went for this one. So, but the correct answer here is. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Actually, there was only one mistake in the number six. Then the other, okay. then all the others were correct. Okay, if you had those answers, if you agree with the answer, that was okay. If you had a different one, then now you know which one is it. Now, if we see the first one before this automobile. People used to shop uh, at small stores. It makes sense, but it's not very logical, right? Because it's, there is no relation uh, the transportation with the action, right? Because mm. you're talking about transportation, and here you're talking about shopping. Here you're talking about transportation, and here you're talking about traveling, right? Grammatically, it probably makes sense, but it, uh, in the logic, maybe not i think it's because now because everybody has a car can go can have it as an option but but, but uh in the past they mm -hmm. have to think it twice because yeah. they had to took uh the two they had to take a bus or or maybe a train in the no, past remember right? that before before cars before transport or even walk to walk. people have to walk or they have to uh, ride horses. All oh, right. Oh. That's why they, they maybe they have to go on, to or, stay horse at home. Man, on horseback, and then, mm -hmm. uh, or use uh, probably the train that was a slower. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. it, was, it was more complicated. It's, it was more complicated, yeah. Okay, <laughs> let's see the, that's, that was the check, the knowledge check. Well, we have the next one. Next topic here. All right, Antonio, can you please read the objectives that we have for 4.5? Yes, um, lesson objective. In this class, you will notice and practice intonation and statement beginnings with a time phrase. Also, at the end of the class, you will have the time to practice and personalize phrase using different tense. Okay. Panel. Do you remember that one? Who can tell me the, what is this uh, lecture objective about? Automobile. Anybody? Yes. I'm, I'm sorry, what was the question? Can you tell me what the objective is about? Uh, we will be practicing uh, using statements with uh, time uh, phrases or time, uh, I don't know, words, right? Okay. And, but the, it, it was talking about intonation, right? Uh -huh. so I, I it, think that is related to pronunciation, something like that. Related to um, pronunciation, uh, but also about the, the how speaking we, natural. About the speaking natural. Uh huh. Exactly. Right. Something like oh, that. Okay. To get to a uh, let's say to the closest uh, natural way of speaking, right? Okay. As a beginning with a phrase. Also, at the end of the class, you will have time to practice and personalize phrases, okay? Like we were doing it yesterday. Remember, you were talking about your childhood and stuff like that. Okay, now let's listen. Ready to work on pronunciation? 
Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. Pronunciation. <laughs> intonation in statements with time phrases. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. In the past, very few people used computers. Today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Can you now complete these statements with your own information? Read the statements to your teacher. As a child, I used to. Two years ago, I. In five years, I. To work on pronunciation, to work on pronunciation, notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. Pronunciation. Intonation in statements with time phrases. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. In the past, very few people used computers. Okay, so we have the first one. If you see in the past, okay, in the past, very few people used computers. Okay, in the past, very few people used computers. Mm, so that is intonation. That's intonation, right? When I say, for example, not, not like if you were like, Hello, everyone. I don't know, what like. Like you were saying in the in the past, very few, uh, in the past, very few people uh, use computers. Sounds you know like very flat, right? But uh, right. if you if you use the right intonation, then you can say uh, in the past, in the past, it goes up, right? Uh -huh. Very few people use computers, and that one goes down. Okay, then uh, let's see a. Kelvin, Aide, Veronica, George Lemus, and Carlos. One by one, read the first sentence. Okay, first Kelvin, then Aide, okay. then Veronica, then George, and then Galen. Listen. Okay. In the past, very few people use computers. In the past, very few people use computers. Again, in the past, very few, very few okay. people use computers. Very, very few now, people use computers. Then Veronica. Okay, go ahead. Very few people use computers. Okay. Uh, in the past, I'm sorry, once again. In the past, very few people use computers. Okay, good. Excellent. In the past, or I did. Sorry. Yes, I did. Okay. In the past, very few people use computers. Okay, Vero. In the past, very few people use computers. Very good. Okay, uh, who was the next? Yo. Oh, hey, George, huh? In the past, very few people use computers. Very good, excellent. Okay, uh, Carlos? In the past, very, very few people use computers. Excellent, right? In the past, very few people use computers. All right, good. Now, listen to the second one. Listen to the second one. Today, people use computers all the time. Okay, today, today, people use computers all the time. Okay, today, people use computers all the time. Today, people use computers all the time. Okay, now, Eduardo, Ricardo, Gio, Cecilel, Antonio, and Diego. The second one. Okay, Eduardo. Today, okay. Today, people use computers all the time. Perfect. Okay, good. Richard. Today, people use computers all the time. Perfect. Gio. Today, people use computers all the time. Excellent. Okay, Cecilel. Today, people use computers all the time. Excellent. Okay, Antonio. Today, people use computers all the time. Very good. Okay, Diego. Today, people use computers all the time. Today, people use computers all the time. Okay, um, Jonathan, you're here too. Can you read it? Today. 
today, people use computers all the time. Very good. Okay, now the next one is, in the future, in the future, there will be a, compu a computer in every home. Now listen. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Every home. Okay. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Okay. Now, Jesenia, Ronnie, George, Mendoza, Jose Armando, and Roberto Baraka. Okay. Jesenia. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Very good. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Okay, good. Thank you. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Very nice. Okay, good. Jorge? No, Jose, sorry. Jose Armando. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Okay, Roberto, over. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. In every home, okay. Xiomara, number one, the first one. In the past, every few people used computers. Okay, in the past, very few people used computers. Good, Evelyn, the second. Hi. Today, Okay, you see this is how I Okay, yeah, she's using she's using the a, a robot to speak now. <laughs> <laughs> that would be probably in the future. <laughs> yeah, that would be a uh, that's, that's part of the We'll future. be talking with robots. Thank you for <laughs> use computer all the time. All the time, yes. energy. We can hear that in a slow motion. <laughs> like low battery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good, but, it's, but it was good. Yes. But you could hear, even though, even though it was slow, you know, you, yeah, you can hear the intonation, right? When it goes up, it goes down. Yeah. Okay, she did it with, you know, uh, teaching perfectly. Okay, good. Now you see, for example, yeah, remember this. In the past, very few people use computers. Today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Okay? So remember that uh, the intonation when we speak our language is completely different from the intonation when people speak French or, or English or Chinese, right, or German. You know, that is a very strong accent. Right? So then, uh, or when people speak uh, probably Portuguese or Italian, so every language has uh, their own intonation, right? So then uh, sometimes you have to listen and imitate, okay? Listen and imitate. So don't be, uh, don't be shy, okay? We don't have to be shy, we have to be, you know, open-minded sometimes to do the imitation, right? There is no problem if we say, okay, in the past, uh, because in, the, in the Spanish we say, ah, en el pasado, but you know, in, in, even in the Spanish, sometimes we use certain intonation, right? And the, that intonation that we use in the Spanish has a connotation, okay? Because when you say, uh, 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 I used to, El Salvador used to be a very nice country, you know, uh, with very, uh, let's say, uh, with very little traffic. And they say, ah, pero eso fue el pasado, right? So we use that intonation, mm -hmm. right? To say that it was a long time ago. Okay, we use inton our intonation, right? So then in English, you know, sometimes they say in the past, they in the past, so they also have their intonation, okay? Good. Now look at this one. Computer in every home. Can you now complete these statements with your own information? Read the statements to your teacher. As a child, I used to. 
Okay, here we have a three traits, right? Okay, I'm gonna use this group that I have in this moment here. I have five people, okay? Uh, Kelvin, you're gonna tell me a sentence using as a child. Carlos, two years ago. Yeah. Okay, Xiomara, a sentence in five years. Ronnie, as a child, I used to. Jorge Lemos, two years ago. Okay? Okay, let's okay. do Kelvin. All right. Um... Let me try. As a child, I used to like to play alone because I was an only child until my nine years old. All right, perfect. Good. All right. Okay, Carlos? Two years ago, I, I was in the... I was living in the San Salvador. Okay, two years ago, I was living in San Salvador. Perfect, Carlos. Thank you. Tamara, in five years. Okay. In five years, I... Um, I graduate to English. <laughs> I will graduate. Huh? I will graduate to English. I will graduate from my English class. For my English class. Okay, in five years. No, <laughs> okay, in, five, in, five, in five months. Okay. Huh? <laughs> it's my example. <laughs> yes, yes, I know, I know. Good, thank you. Okay, Ronnie. Hi. Um, as a child. As a child, I used to play a skateboard with my friends. I used to. I used go, to play. I used to go. I used to go skateboarding. Skateboard. Oh. Uh -huh. I used to go skateboarding to with, play my friends, with, friends. with my yes. with my friends. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Good. Uh, Richard. Two years ago. Uh, two years ago, I visited uh, Malaysia. I visited Malaysia. I visited Malaysia. Yes. Wow, okay. Ah, you were near China, man. You were near China. Ah, you're the one. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you you are the patient, the patient zero in El Salvador. Ah, the okay. patient zero. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Eduardo. Eduardo is going uh, huh? illegally. He's he's going illegally in the country. <laughs> yes, he came in. <laughs> okay, Eduardo in the blind child, moment. Heidi, Heidi, you're going to be two years ago. Gio, in five years. Yesenia, as a child. Cecibel, two years ago. And Antonio, in five years. One sentence in those three. Okay, Eduardo. Okay. As a child, I used to play with my friends. Okay. Next. So what's the next? Oh, they move, they move from. Okay, then, uh, who was the next? Well, hi there. Okay, two years ago, um, um, is studying in the university. Okay, two years ago, I started at the university. Okay, good, Gio. In five years, I will have my own house. In five years, I will have my own house. Yeah. Okay, that's a nice dream. Okay, very good. Yeah. Yesenia, Jesse. Uh, as a child, I used to play in the street. As a child, I used to play in the street. Very good. Ronnie, right? Yes, again. Yes, again. <laughs> it's not, it's not <laughs> I don't, I don't, somebody moved from, from my picture here. Okay. Uh, which, which? Two years ago? I guess. Yes. Um, two years ago, I started uh, learning English. I started learning English. Okay. English. Good. Okay. 
Antonio. In five years, I will be working in a great company. Okay, very good. Okay, George Lemus, as a child. As a child, I used to play a spinning top. I used to play a spinning top. I don't hear it. Okay. As a child, I used to play a spinning top. Trompo. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but that is the top. Uh -huh, the top. We used to play. Yeah. Spin, yeah. Spin top. I have forgot. I have forgotten that game. Yes, Marvel. <laughs> okay, yeah. good. Okay, Diego. Two years ago. Two years ago, I was playing marbles with my friend. Two years ago. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you, are you are really young. You're really. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Veronica. No, I, I, I'm just kidding. No, no, it's okay. No, I, I used to play, you know, I used to play like, I can tell you like probably 10 years ago, but, you know, in the school with my students, you know, in primary school, yeah, okay. just for fun. Okay, uh, Veronica, in five years. In five years, I really hope that I had my own business. <laughs> okay, I really hope I'll have my own business. Very good. It's a good, good hope. Okay, uh, Jonathan, as a child. Okay, as a child, I used to play chibolas. I don't know how <laughs> to say okay. chibolas in, Diego. in English. Diego, how do you say chibolas in English? It's a marbles. 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 I used to play marbles. Okay, very good. Uh, who else? Uh, marbles. 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 Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, good. There are, well, there are some others probably that you have not uh, said your sentence, but okay, is it clear now the idea, right? Past tense, past tense, and in five years, this time expression is referring to something in the future. You say in five years, I am going to, or in, ten year, in five years, I will. Okay, I will be probably, in five years, I will be getting married again. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I, I, wish, I wish I could. <laughs> okay, um, in five years, I will, uh, I will be living in, I don't know, in Europe, okay? Great. In five years, I will be retired. Retired. <laughs> Great. Yeah. We hope so. those, are, those are my dreams. <laughs> those are, okay. <laughs> okay, just not just example. Okay. Two years ago, I, in five years, I. Okay, good. Then let's see this one. <laughs> Okay, Cecibel, can you please read this uh, objective here? Yes, in this class you will be, you will listen to an audio and make the exercise. As you listen, you will develop the skills in listening for main ideas. Okay, now what happens with the listening exercises? Okay, remember that the listening exercise, it gives you, um, yeah, let's say, some instructions, right, or mm -hmm. what you are supposed to do. Uh, in this case, it says for main idea, okay? Mm -hmm. So do not, uh, get, do not worry if you don't uh, remember details, okay, or all the conversation, right? Mm -hmm. Now the idea here is that you focus on detecting or remember the main idea of what you are listening. <clears throat> let's see. Uh, let's listen. Okay. Listen to people discuss changes. 
check the topic each person talks about. One. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. Two. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Oh, well, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus. And when one finally shows up, it's usually full. Three. I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. Page 60. Exercise 5. Part B. Listen again. Write down the change and if things are better or worse now. 1. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. Two. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Well, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus, and when one finally shows up, it's usually full. 3. I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. Listen to people just okay. This is for you to get to get familiar, to get acquainted with the with the dialogue or a kind of uh, vocabulary, right? Now, yes. uh huh. Any questions? No, no. Okay. Now you will listen again. Okay, but now you will be checking here, right? Where, what is the the possible answer? Here says, listen to people discuss changes in their neighborhood. Check the topic, check the topic each person talks about. Okay, so there might be more than one. Okay, now listen again. Discuss changes. Check the topic each person talks about. One. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. Two. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city. But you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? 
Well, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus, and when one finally shows up, it's usually full. Three. I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. Page 60. Exercise 5. Part B. Listen again. Write down the change and if things are better or worse now. 1. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. Two. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Well, uh, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus, and when one finally shows up, it's usually full. Three. I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. Okay. Okay. What's the main idea in the first part? The first conversation. I think uh, this environment. 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 Okay. What, environment. Why do you think it's the environment? What, what were the key, key phrases or key words that help you to you know, to help uh, help you determine mm -hmm. that that is a correct answer. Because no, I think woman... that she was talking about uh, cities. Uh -huh. About trees. Uh, trees. Trees. And uh -huh. Trees. Environment. The, the right. environment. So talking about trees. Uh -huh. Yes, Eduardo. It's talking about the surrounding environment things. Is, a, the, is surrounding. The, the answer because he, she, she was talking about the uh, people is uh, growing trees uh, in these days. Okay, good. Yeah, there are some key words that help you, right? She also said that today was greener mm -hmm. than 20 years ago. Okay, so there, those are the changes, yes. right? What about the men? What was he doing? Transportation. 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 He talking about the, the, the buses or... <laughs> The bus service, right? He was talking he, about he bus needs, He needs a car. He needs a car. Yeah, he needs a car. The, 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 the bus is, was a good system, transportation, but uh, it's not. But now, no anymore, right? So you have no to wait anymore. for a yes. long time for, for a bus. Yes. Okay, good. And in the last one? Family. Families. 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 Okay. What were the keywords? Uh, see child's place in the street. Mm -hmm. Younger couple. Younger couple, okay, something that you don't yeah. see now, right? Yeah. Yes, anymore. Okay, let's see. Okay, yes, the first one is correct, number three. Number two as well. 
and the number one. Okay, so you see, probably, probably you don't remember many words or expressions from the conversation, right? Or probably you do. But the information that they are requesting in the exercise is only the main idea. They don't, they don't say exactly, they don't say exactly transportation, mm -hmm. they don't say environment, they don't say families. Families. There are many, uh, many uh, words that help us understand that the people are talking about that. And that, and that is comprehension, right? Comprehension. You can, when you can do that is because you, are, you understand and you are able to uh, synthesize the information. Okay, so this is part of the process of understanding uh, a language and listening and also this is the same process of reading. Okay, so <coughs> questions in this moment? Hi, we're about to study. No? No. 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 Okay. Then we have one more here. That is the, this one. Uh, Carlos, can you read this uh, lesson objective here? Sure. By the end of this class, you will learn how to use conditional sentences with if causes. Okay. This is very nice, right? But it's uh, like, um, like using a math formula, right? What is if? It is a conditional. It's a condition. Okay. It's like in Spanish, we say yes, right? Yes. Yes. Si tu. If but yeah, you, but if yes, I... yes is when you answer a affirmative or negative. Affirmative. Okay. Answer. But if is the translation similar to yes, but it's a condition. Yes. Okay. Yeah. If you okay. answer, if you answer correctly, if that's the, the condition, if you answer correctly, then I will give you a break on Friday. Yes. Okay. <laughs> but if you improve your if vocabulary, you, you learn, you speak English very well. Exactly. If you practice a lot, you will learn English. But there are some uh, there are some uh, requirements, right? For example, if I say if if I practice English present, okay, if I practice English in present, then the next sentence would be in future, I will learn English. Okay, this is one way to do it. So there are like four or five different sentences that you can use present past, present perfect, okay? So we will see the, the basic one and then we will gradually increase the condition. Okay, look. Hi, we're about to study conditional sentences. A conditional sentence is formed by a possible situation and a consequence. Pay attention to the audio program for more explanation. Conditional sentences with if clauses. Possible situation plus simple present. If you get a high paying job. Consequence plus future with will, may, or might. You won't have to work as hard. If you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. If you don't have to work as hard, you'll have a lot more free time. If you have a lot more free time, you might get bored. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. The first conditional is a structured used for talking about possibilities in the present or the future. <coughs> we'll explain you how this conditional is formed and when it is used. When we talk about this conditional, which is called first conditional, by the way, we will divide it in two parts if clause and main clause. In conditional, we use the word if. So we say, if I study, I will pass my exam. Follow me in the structure, if clause, if plus subject plus verb in simple present. Main clause, 
subject plus will plus verb. Let's work on more examples. If you save money, you will go on a trip. If she speaks English, she will have a better job. If we exercise, we will be healthy. All of these examples show a possibility of what might happen if. I will give you some possible situations. Try to give me your consequence using the structure learned. Don't forget to write them on our discussion box. If you study English, if you lose your job, if you have children, don't forget to write your consequence using the future will, may, or might. Get a high paying job. Okay. So you see, this is the key, right? This is the first, uh, let's say that there are like uh, five types, okay? They have, sometimes the people say zero conditional, first conditional, second conditional, third conditional, fourth conditional. But like I told you the other day, right? Depends on the grammar book you study. Uh, some other people say that there are five different kinds of conditional, but at the end there are different uh, combinations, right? This is the first one. If you see in this one is, if you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. Here, you are using this condition and you use the verb in present, but you want to express something, the consequence will be in the future, okay? For example, if you don't have to work, uh, for example, if we don't have to work as hard these days, we will have a lot more work when the quarantine is over. Okay, yes or no? Yeah. Probably. If we, don't, uh -huh. if we don't work, yes. if we don't work hard now, we will have a lot more work when the quarantine is over. Okay, but if we work, if we work hard now, we will have, let's say, a uh, normal work when the quarantine is over. So that means that what we are, the condition that we have in this moment in present, the result or the consequence will be in the future, okay? Suppose if you have a lot more free time, you might get bored. What is might? Remember might? Is a possibility, right? Possibility. possibility. And may is also a possibility. The difference may is like 50 50. Okay, maybe yes, maybe no. And might is less possible, like 75% is remote possibility. Okay, it's a remote. For example, uh, if I buy, yeah, this. if I buy a, a lot, uh, let's say a lot of ticket, I might win the lottery. Okay, but it's a remote possibility. If I buy many, many lot of tickets, I may win the lottery. Okay, if I buy all the lottery tickets, I will, I will win the lottery. Okay, it's the only possibility, right? If you buy all the tickets, all the tickets, <laughs> you, have, you, have, you are sure right? you have the 100% of the tickets. Uh -huh. What is the difference with might and may? That's what I'm saying that may is 50% and might is 25% of possibility. Oh, so may is more probably. It's more, more probable. Mm -hmm. Okay, more, more probable. Okay, yes. okay. Thank and might is less. Okay, okay we say great. you might get bored. Mm. And maybe not. For example, uh, for example, if you don't do much in your house in these days, or if you don't do anything in your house these days, you might get bored, right? But probably somebody will say, no, I sleep all day and then I... I play video games. I don't get bored. 
okay? But for some other people, probably it's boring, right? So that depends on your personality and the activities that you do in your house. Okay, questions in this moment? Question. Hmm? No. Okay, then uh, just let me, wait a minute. Teacher, I have a question. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, always if is a begin. No. Nope. Uh, you can also use it in the middle. Okay, mm -hmm. you can also use it in the middle. For example, you are a good student if you study a lot. Yeah. Example. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just. Uh, I want to. Okay. Then you can take a look at these expressions to study for. Okay. In the WhatsApp group, you will see this expression, so that you can study for tomorrow. And for example, that a uh, that a uh, question is, you won't have to work as hard. Comma. Okay, here, there is no, okay, here's the comma. If you see here, if you get a high paying job, comma, and then you put the other sentence together, yes? Yes. But if we begin, you won't have to work as hard. We eliminate the period, and then if we put you the get. sentence here, okay? And then we say if, okay, we say if. Let me see if we can, if I can. You say you won't. You won't have. Uh, yeah, so you won't have to work as hard. Okay, as hard, and then you only write here if. Okay. If mm -hmm. uh, if you get a high, high paid job. Paying job in the next period. Okay. High, pay, high paying job is high a, pay. like a English corporative jobs, I guess. Mm, yes, more or less. Right? <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. Exactly. <you know? laughs> that way, that way, you won't have to worry about get uh, No, this will be uh, very. <laughs> oh, oh, this, very. This yes, it will, very. Yes, it it's the difference. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, so then if you oh, see, yeah, with, oh, you, yeah. can put, you can put if. This uh, this uh, close at the end, no problem. The meaning is the same, but you don't use the comma, okay? Mm -hmm. You see here, okay. the comma never, okay? Never, then you will make. If you put the if at the beginning, yes, then mm. you use the comma, okay? But you can, okay. you can switch, okay? You can put these sentences at the end, or second, and you only omit the period and the meaning. For example, you will have a lot of more free time if you don't have to work as hard. You might get bored if you have a lot of a lot more free time. You may have to look for another job if you get bored. Right. So then, and the meaning is the same. Okay. In this case, the consequence. Mm -hmm. Eh, is the same, well, in español se puede decir, la consecuencia siempre, siempre sigue siendo consecuencia aunque vaya al inicio. Yes, exactly. Oh, okay. You can begin giving the, for example, the consequence, for example, eh, and say, for example, uh, I won't pass this level, for example, that's a consequence. Yes. I won't pass this course if I don't study it. Yeah, I won't pass this course if I don't connect to my English classes, right? So then, uh, okay. then we, the consequence can be at the beginning because we already know that that can happen, right? And 
Yes, there is a possibility that this happens. Ah, okay. 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 Now, okay, just before we go, just let me show you something quickly. Because you were asking me yesterday. And I just want you to pay attention to this issue. In, uh, that is in the midterm test. Uh, test. Mm. Uh, the part that says writing, free writing. Okay, you gotta be careful. Something that I like, it was like I was telling you this moment. I have, I have a problem with this, but I resolve. <laughs> resolve it. Okay, yeah. good. Yes. Remember yes. that yeah. if you don't look, sometimes uh, if you don't write this comma, or sometimes uh, like in this one. You know, or, or the question a, mark. Or the question mark, or yes. the period, okay, or something. For example, look at this one. Uh, in this one, both are uh, as the acceptor, right? The comma, or without the comma. Okay, yes. could you repeat that, please? Could you repeat that, please? And then uh, sometimes these little details, you have to be very careful with, okay? Yes. And just make sure that if it is a... Uh, at the beginning, you have to use the capital letter. Say, could you please, and look, because here is in capital because it's at the beginning, but here it says mm -hmm. could you, but in the answer, this one yes. is in a small case. Okay, small yes. case is minuscule, right? So could you close the door, comma, please? Okay, and then here, you don't see the, period, uh, the question mark because in this one, it's a, it's a phrase, it's a sentence. But when you put the answer, you have to write the question. So these details are the ones that sometimes yes. so you write correctly, yes. but one little thing you're missing. And, and in that case, this box is very sensitive. But if you don't... Yes, it's a headache. Uh -huh, it's a headache, <laughs> it's a, right? It's a, headache. a pain in the neck. Yes, <laughs> yes. Okay, people. Then uh, okay. I guess that you have uh, a lot to practice for tomorrow, right? With the conditional. Uh, I will give you more information about the conditional because you know it's a very nice topic. And these are phrases that you can use very frequently too, right? Uh, and there is a combination of tenses also. If you see that uh, this week we have been practicing with combining, contrasting present, past, and future. Okay, mm -hmm. present perfect, okay? So then uh, this is another moment to, to start practicing more about these tenses. All right, so have a very good night. Okay. E enjoy the rain because it's Excellent. not gonna be very hot, okay? Yeah. And see you tomorrow, okay? Yeah, see you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Bye.